Hey there, I'm Jason. I'm one of the creators of Scrap Pad. I'm here today to walk you through the app and show you around. Let's get started. Here's the home screen with all the albums I've created so far. At the bottom is a create book button. I tap that, creates a new album. I'm greeted with the blank page. And just in case you're new here, let me show you around. This drawer area here shows you the highlighted kit or the selected kit. Other kits uh, are up here. You can scroll through them. We design them so all the elements within each kit look great together. And then of course you can mix and match with other kits. Um, I'm gonna make a Valentine's Day page because it's coming up. Make something for my sweetie. So when you select a kit, uh, the drawer opens up and it's, it's grouped with all the assets in that kit. Um, grouped by backgrounds, borders, embellishments, and stickers. So let me choose a background. Look at this red guy. And then let's get a photo next. Press this photo button. I'm going to go to my photo library, camera roll, select a photo of my wife and I, put it on the page. I can move it around with my fingers. Uh, one finger will move it as is. Two fingers will let you rotate and scale it. So I'll put it in the center there. Uh, let me put a border around this photo. Uh, you can just drag the border from the menu onto the page and you'll see that if you put the border over a photo, it'll ask you if you want to auto border. Uh, why not? Say yes. We made it so border elements um, will automatically uh, border all four sides of the photo if you wish it to. So just use that auto border feature to save some time. All right, so I've got one border on here. Uh, something you may not know you could do, you can do multiple borders. So let me get another one and do that again. Auto border, yes. And that's a great way to get layered looks um, within Scrap Pad. Another way to get a great layered look is to press on, you can press on any element and it brings up a menu of options. Same with the photos. So I pressed on the photo and in these options, one of them is duplicate. So I duplicated that photo. Let me enlarge it just a little bit. And I'm going to put another border on it. How about this pink one here? It's already on top of the photo, so I click OK, yes. And now I'm going to press and hold and send it backward. So now I've got an even more layered look, which is pretty cool. You may not know you can do that. And since we're talking about layering, let me tap on this background and let me unlock it. And what that does is it makes it so you can now move this background around like any other element. We lock them by default just to um, <laughs> save some headaches from your background moving around anytime you want to touch something. So, but if you do want to unlock it, like so, you can, and it you can rotate it and scale it just like any other element. So I'm going to give it a little angle here, and then I'm going to select another background. And how about this slightly? Slightly other red one. Yeah, there we go. So again, another way you may not know to get layered looks in Scrap Pad built right in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tap on this and lock it. So now it won't move around anymore. So my backgrounds are locked. I like the way these photos look, so I'm going to lock these. Okay, now that I have my photo in place and background how I like it, I'm going to add some embellishments. Um, Here's a cute little heart, candy heart. Put that right there. Um, is there a sticker? How about these hearts over here? I'm gonna make those bigger. Put those in this corner. And then, anything else I want? <laughs> this bunny's pretty cute. I'll put him right there. All right, so I have one page that's looking pretty good, although I want to add some text. So I'll go up to this text button, and that opens uh, our text editor. So let me just type out a little message. A 
love you babe and you can select from all the different fonts on your device here's your color picker and I'm just gonna make that white and press the place button to place it on the page it'll go right in the center and from there you can move it around you just um, use your fingers to pinch and scale and rotate just like any other element perfect so let's see I've got this page looking pretty good so I'm gonna add a new page just press the plus and it'll let me add a new page so there's my second page and again I can pick any kit I want um, here's a wedding kit with some different backgrounds I'll use this one here and if you get tired of our free kits we have a kit store with more kits that you can add on each is 99 cents and we're constantly making new paid kits and free kits so scrap pad uh, keeps growing and what you can create with it let me go back to our home page so it's saving that book and while it's saving that one let's go up to another one that I started earlier uh, with my kids my two boys and um, when you're looking at an album you've already created it defaults into a view mode so everything is locked and you just swipe side to side to see the pages you've already created and then if you do want to go in and edit something you've done you just press this edit button up there and it takes you right to that page within that book a new feature in scrap pad that i'm really excited to share with you is the ability to order physical printed books uh, that you make within scrap pad so here's a book i created earlier of my two boys i'm going to select the print store button and this gives this gives me my options of what i can order um, in in physical books you can see there's three sizes to choose from now I'm gonna select this biggest size here and it launches this preview window uh, so you can preview your book to make sure it's exactly right um, how you want to print there's these pink edges here that show you where the trim is gonna happen since these are full bleed pages um, want to make sure that no text or important items are too close to the page and you can hide that if you want so that lets you know gives you a good idea of what's going to be printed um, you can go through all the thumbnails here to check out the whole book and if it looks good you can go ahead and check out and that launches a standard form it's kind of put in your basic info how you're going to pay where it's going to be shipped to and then an email address so they can send you um, your receipt and shipping information this is through a company called Prinzel they're specializing in offering printing to apps like ours so we're really excited to offer this to you so check that out all right let me show you a couple new features that we've just added to the app the ability to duplicate albums like here's one of our pets you just press and hold on the album and select the duplicate option and that will make a duplicate that's pretty cool if you have some, um, a lot of things that you like in one album but if you just want to make some changes um, you don't want that and you don't have, and you don't want to have to recreate everything all again you can just make a duplicate and then make the changes in the new album another new feature which is makes life a lot easier is um, the ability to copy and paste pages so up in this um, pages menu I can select copy page now it makes a copy of this page and I want to put that into this new Valentine's book that I started and then I can go back up here and paste page and it will paste it right after the page that we're viewing here so now um, I've moved an album exactly how it was in an, or excuse me, I moved a page exactly how it was in another album into this new album that I'm working on. So that's really cool. Um, it's a feature that we've been wanting to bring to the app for a long time and now it's here. So that'll make life a lot easier in um, getting 
books ready to print or just to um, get layouts that you started elsewhere within the app and get them consolidated into one album. So that's pretty cool. Um, another button up here is our share menu. So you can email a book, you can um, launch the print store, you can save pages as PNG files to your photo library, you can post to Facebook um, or submit to us as a template. We'll be offering templates soon, very soon. So that is a rundown of Scrap Pad for iPad. Uh, happy scrapping!